In these last weeks, I have been very motivated and eager to paint. The problem is that even with all the desire to paint, I didn't know what to paint. It gets to the point where it becomes overwhelming because you start to put pressure on yourself and if a timely idea doesn't come through, this situation becomes a potential artistic block. Surely the dreaded artistic block will have happened to you at some point in your life. Either because you don't know what to do or because you simply don't feel motivated. When this happened to me when I was younger, I didn't have the tools to deal with it. And usually I just stopped painting for a long time. Art block still happens to me, but now I know how to deal with it. I will tell you what I did to overcome this recent art block that I had, and I will give you four tips that will help you overcome it if it happens to you. I had a couple of weeks without creating anything, so when a weekend trip to the beach came up, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to absorb the whole experience, to fill myself with inspiration. So we left in the morning, on the road, I begin to observe everything. The landscapes, the colors, the nature, and my mind begins to clear. Tip number one, find a source that fits your inspiration. Let your mind empty to create space to let in elements that fit your creativity. Relax and allow new and refreshing ideas to come. This time, my source is the environment around me. How am I going to waste this opportunity? The ocean, the palms, the sand, the wind, and the sound of the waves give me a charge of creative energy that will last for a quite some time. You need to find your source. You can go for a walk, go to a park, stop to observe those little things that we usually take for granted. In this way, you feed your creativity with the place that surrounds you. But it shouldn't always be a place. It can be any source that offers you inspiration, like a book, novel or fiction. Books about art offer a lot of material for creativity and inspiration. Also a movie can trigger your inspiration or listening to music or a podcast usually helps me to get into the song. Tip number two. Decide to create something you enjoy, relaxed, without pressure or pretensions, and don't show your process to anyone. Back home I opt to do a little abstract painting and I thought oil painting is my favorite. When I'm going to do an abstract acrylic is my number one choice because it's easy, it dries fast, and is more versatile. The important thing is to do something, whatever you find pleasing and relaxing. It can be a sketch, a collage, a doodle, whatever. And do not show your process while you're doing it to anyone, because the simple fact of creating expectations in someone for me is reason enough to overwhelm and block me. Also, although I am always open to constructive criticism, an unwise opinion could discourage us and hinder our process and this is not the time for that. So, paint something that is just for you. Tip number three, embrace your artistic freedom. Allow yourself to be playful. Experiment with new things for fun. Remember that you're not trying to make the masterpiece of your life. You're doing an exercise to unlock yourself. Being on the beach, I found some elements that I wanted to take with me to integrate them into the piece that I'm going to create. Tip number four, enjoy yourself. After you have filled yourself with creative energy, 
from your favorite source. After taking time and making available the materials you need, unleash your creativity. Do as you please, no one has to judge you. And once this is done, you will have renewed your strength and your inspiration. You will have overcome that blockage and you will be ready to face your new project. That's all for today. I hope you like it and I hope that was useful to you. Until next time, bye.